As we were talking at Grand Canyon yesterday, there used to be about 8,000 feet of strata layers above Grand Canyon. If you think Grand Canyon is big because it's 5,200 feet deep, there used to be 8,000 feet of layers above it that have been removed from southern Utah all the way to the sea, leaving behind what's geologically called the Grand Staircase. Uh, where we are right now, the, uh, the Kaibab limestone that makes up the rim of Grand Canyon is actually about 1,300 feet of layers below us. But when we get out of Lee's Ferry, these layers have been removed all the way to the sea, cut like a knife, gone. Now, if you climb up on top of these layers and go about 40 miles north, you'll come to the 2,500 foot white and gray cliffs the Zion cuts through. That's the next step of the Grand Staircase that where that erosion will then end it. If you climb up on top of the 2,500 feet that are on top of these 1,300 feet and go 45 miles north, you get the 2,500 foot pink cliffs of Bryce. If you climb up on top of those and go about 10 miles north, you get the 900 to 1,000 foot tall Pontagon Plateau. That's the Grand Staircase. An erosional vent cut away 130,000 cubic miles of sediments. Grand Canyon's only 900. 150 times more sediments than is missing in Grand Canyon were eroded, leaving straight up and down cliffs. What power could have removed these layers? Not to mention the 6,000 feet that were on top of these. The Havasu uh, tribe that lives in the bottom of the canyon does have an ancient theory that the canyon was a result of a massive water event. 